All right, good morning, guys. Another day on the hill. Um, I believe it's January, like, uh, 17th, I want to say. Um, yeah, 17th. Gonna head up for uh, a hike today, uh, looking for moose sheds. Still super deep snow. This year's been really rough with the, with the for moose sheds because of the fact that um, it has snowed, like, every other day all through January and um, the moose have seemed to drop early this year and so now it's kind of uh, messed things up because all the antlers are under the ground or under the snow um, but I'm gonna go up in here I found two moose sheds last time I was up here and I also seen four shed bulls so that means eight antlers and I found two of them so six antlers at least are up here still they might still be buried they might be uncovered now so we're gonna go up and see it's kind of been sunny the last week so maybe I'll luck out something is uh uncovered enough to find it um two tracks two snowshoe tracks last time in here where guys were hitting it pretty hard I don't know if they picked anything up Judging by their tracks, it didn't look like they really matted down a spot where they would have found one. So I'm hoping they didn't find any. Um, I'm sure other guys have gone in here, but I have one other spot I can hit. All right, so pretty much topped out, getting ready to uh, drop down in after the sheds. And right off the bat, I'm a little worried. Um, it looks like there's more snow than there was last time I was here. And it hasn't really snowed hard for the last week. But um, this was the trail I took last time right there and you can see there's not it's just snow now and it was a packed down trail like this before um skiers kind of come over here and use this area and so they packed down a trail but the one i took before is gone so that could mean that there's a solid foot of snow um which kind of sucks um honestly but it's a beautiful blue day down in the in the city where I live the uh, pollution from the vehicles and buildings is awful you can't it's, it looks like it's a stormy day down in the in the city then you get up in the mountains and it's blue beautiful sky I'd give you a shot of the view I have but then I'd give away where I'm at if you can't already tell um, so we're just gonna head up in and Hope for the best, you never know. Maybe a moose was rubbing his antler on a tree and knocked it off and it's hanging in a tree. All right, <laughs> don't make fun of me because of my glasses. It's super bright out here. Um, as you can see, the snow is really shining from that sun. So without them, my eyes would be hurting. They're hurting with glasses on. Um, but anyways, I want to show you guys this. So. Something I look for when I'm moose shed hunting is uh, blood in the snow because when a moose sheds its antler, usually it bleeds um, from the pedicle. Uh, so when I'm looking for sheds, I'll I'll watch for blood in the beds or trails because usually they lay down a lot, so uh, um, you could find blood in their bed and then backtrack it. And I found a lot of antlers that way. But one way you could get tricked is from this. So here's some blood, there's a little more there, and right there, some blood in this moose track. I've been following a little blood here, and uh, what happens is they get tick bites, and ticks get on them in the uh, winter time, and they bleed from it. So how you can tell the difference between uh, a tick bite blood and their shed antler blood is the shed antler blood is going to be a lot more bright, clean looking, and the tick bite's going to be red but it's gonna have more of a yellow pus to it so this one I couldn't tell for sure and then I ended up finding his bed and there's a dead tick right there um, so you just gotta kind of uh, be able to judge the blood and that actually helps you a lot I found a good chunk of antlers fallen blood before so uh, tip of the day I guess you could say I'm gonna keep moving if anything, it'll be good exercise. There's more snow than last time, surprisingly, so um, might not find anything, but we'll see. Cool little find right there. Let's see if I can pull it up. It's uh, some old moose hair, or not old, fresh on these tracks. 
Looks like it, I don't know where it came off of, probably the shoulder and that little bell that hangs off of their neck area. A lot of times I find parts of their bell laying around where they stepped on it going uphill and pulled it out. What a cool animal, check that out. Big old moose sitting there smelling me. Hope he doesn't come after me because there's no way of out, I'm outrunning him in this deep snow. <laughs> that's the cool thing about moose though. They don't, uh, they're not scared of people. So that's what, what's cool about shad hunting for him. See, he's just going to go back to eating. Um, they're not scared of people. So it's not like you're pushing the game around while you're out shed hunting. Pretty cool though. Big old suckers. All right guys, check that out. So it ended up being a cow and a calf over where I was before. Now I just walked around the bend and uh, that's a bull moose. He's like a six point on his right side and then he's just little on his left. And then he's with a shed bull. So, um, but it looks like the shed bull shed quite a while ago. Look what's sitting in this bed next to me. Moose shed, bingo on the board. Looks like just a little baby one. We'll get it picked up and uh, maybe follow the tracks backwards. All right, here we go, the pickup. <laughs> Tiny, <laughs> oh my gosh. Still blood on the base, as you can see. I'm telling you guys, they. <laughs> It is hard to find a big Utah moose shed. I found like 30 something brown moose sheds in the last three years, two and a half years. And we, believe me, we don't find very many big ones. So I keep every moose shed I find. I just like to collect them. Don't do it for money or anything. Just like to collect them. But nice little one. Maybe I'll get lucky. There was a bed back here. Maybe it'll be over there. The other side. All right, here's the blood I'm talking about, guys. That is uh, the blood off of this moose's pedicle that I found. Right there. He shed it right there. Walked through this way. And you, you can see a little bit more blood there. And then up here where he laid down. That's kind of pussy looking, but um, now that I know he shed his antler I can see that this is blood from his pedicle a lot of tracks in here I might do a little circle see if I can find them well those moose there's one bedded there and one bedded there about 25 30 yards away so even though there's tracks going this way I think I'm gonna turn around just uh, go back this way just because even though they're not Scared or really gonna run. I don't want to bother them. So I'm just gonna Respect them and head back that way and uh, Try to match this side up. Maybe he dropped it going that way <laughs> Yes guys. Yes, I you can make fun of me when I say this but I seriously think there's like a higher power of some sorts uh, with shed hunting that somehow gets you to find it because I mean Think about all these trees in the mountains, um, the miles and miles of mountains there are, and to be able to find an antler is crazy lucky. Like if you find an antler, good for you. To find a set, even better, and to find a set this freaking big, I mean there's the other side right there. That is, you're lucky if, like that, I must, I'm either super lucky or I think there is some sort of higher power shed gods whatever you want to call it because i just i just found the other side I, I literally gave up on it back there because there were so many moose tracks um around that i there was no way i was going to be able to follow them all in this deep snow so i just kind of went up and over crossed where i seen a couple moose cross earlier today and uh <laughs> i was just walking and Came around the corner and there was the shed. Let's go check it out. Here it was laying tines down or palm down. It doesn't even have points. 
See, this will explain things a little better. This blood here, that is from a shed. You can see it's nice and bright red. This blood down here, colors like this, yellows and whatnot, that's pus. But here's the shed. <laughs> Just a tiny guy. It might not even be the set, actually, to be honest with you. But they're so goofy over here, like, and when they're that small, it's hard to say. I found moose. I found moose. A couple, two sets of moose sheds up here. Where one bull had the, he had a, his one side was a big palm. The other side was, um, just like a tiny palm. And it was off the same bull because I had pictures of them. And then found their sheds. And followed their tracks too. And they were on the same tracks. So it's crazy. It could be a set. Looks like uh, it's the side I need. Uh, I'll pick it up. Let you guys let you guys be the judge. All right. Let's see if it is a match set or not. <laughs> Little one. This one I just found. This was the first one I found. Definitely different bases. But that's the thing. Even I found them where they're big on this side and tiny on this side. So it's hard to say. Um, they both kind of have that same shape. It almost looks like this could have been his, a right side too. Actually, yeah, you're right. This is a right side because this is the start of his brow tine. Here's where his palm wanted to go. He broke off a little bit there. So it's two right sides. Crazy. Probably no way in heck I'll match these up with how small they are. Um, but yeah, still cool. Still moose sheds. If you haven't ever smelled a fresh moose shed on the ground, they smell sweet. They smell like these uh, mahogany trees they hang out in. I guess because they rub on them or whatever. Shed gods are in full swing today. Giving me the babies. Little baby antlers. Alright, well, it's about three-fourths away through the day and I uh, got into uh, snowshoer tracks. Not a good thing when you're uh, shed hunting to see other people's tracks because obviously they've hit it. They can't find them all because most of the sheds you find are white. So it is good to keep you know after it even if you see snowshoer tracks or hiker tracks but uh, it does kind of suck because they might have got any of the ones that are out in the open. But just sitting down now at the sheds, the little baby sheds, and then uh, I'm gonna eat some pita chips, almonds, and some, get a couple scoops of this uh, refuel, or fuel hunt. BCAAs, um, glutamine, hydration matrix. Get nice and fueled back up for <clears throat> the rest of the hike. Maybe we'll luck into a shed. Um, I was gonna go Instagram live uh, when I found a shed today and I forgot on both of them to do Instagram live that's kind of a cool setting or a new feature that Instagram has now I like watching people's live videos but maybe if I could find another one we'll do that all right I believe that's gonna be it for the day got two two little moose sheds which is better honestly than I thought I was gonna do after seeing how much snow was out um, definitely gonna have to come back when it melts out there's uh, still bulls packing still bulls that um, have their antlers and are gonna shed on top of this snow and then there's still um, moose well then there's moose that dropped a long time ago and it's all under the snow so it's not gonna be till end of March that um, really uh, have a chance at finding any other moose sheds up in here. So, gonna head out. It's a fun day, thanks for watching. Good luck to you guys shed hunting, and we will see you next time. Hopefully another shed trip, and hopefully more sheds. See ya.